In today's show, we're going to talk about power apps, sort by columns, and sort. What's the difference? Spoiler alert, not a lot. And I'm going to show you a way to use sort by columns that I didn't know was possible until like two weeks ago. Kind of cool. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys. And today, it's about power apps sort by columns. Right? Sometimes you want to sort your data. Makes sense. Especially like when using it in galleries or drop towns. I, I know I like my data alphabetized. So we're going to go through quickly how that function works. We'll also talk about how the sort function works because actually they do the same thing almost. So anyway, we'll hit on that real quick. And then there's actually a way with sort by columns where not only can you sort by multiple columns, we'll talk about that, but you can sort by a custom sort order. So instead of just alphabetical or, you know, you know, uh, ascending or descending, you can actually provide a table so you can sort. So that was new to me. It might be new to you. So stick around and we'll take a look. Okay. So over here on my desktop, we've got a blank app. Now there's a second screen here because there's a little bit of bonus content there we'll share, but we're going to start from basically blank. And I thought the easiest thing to do is we'll just insert a gallery, wherever galleries are. For me, they hide over here sometimes because of my screen size. There you go. And then what I want to do is I'm going to pull in a data source. So we will actually search for our friend SharePoint. And if it doesn't want to show up over there, we'll go over here to data, add data. And then we'll try searching for SharePoint here. Oh my goodness, that took forever. Okay, there it is. We'll add it. And then we're just going to pull in our standard uh, employees list because we know that's got some data we can play with. And it's right there. Boom. So we've got some data in here that we want to now sort and then be able to look at, oh, we don't. So we should do this, and then we will change our data source here from none to employees. Now we have some data we can sort. And so the first thing we'll do is we'll just change this to title, subtitle, and body. Oh, with the picture, of course. I wanna see people's faces. And so here, let's sort by the probably the most common one, which is like a number field. So I have an age field for all these people. So if I wanna sort this data, what I can do is then go out here and I can use sort or sort by columns, but we're gonna use sort by columns because in reality, I don't think I've ever used sort in a customer app. I don't think. And the reason for that is sort by columns allows you to have multiple columns, right? So you can sort by first their age and then their last name or versus their department and then their age, then their last name, right? You can have multiple sorts in there. Whereas when you do sort, sort can only sort by one column. So if you wanna sort by two columns, you have to use the sort function nested which is just weird to me. So I don't, I literally don't think in my four years I've ever used sort for a customer app. So I always use sort by columns. So we'll sort by column. Now, when you go to do this, you'll notice that it is in double quotes like that. The easiest way to figure out your column name, I think, is just put the cursor, we'll do this. When you hit the comma, it will offer you. So here's from your data source, the columns that it, it's willing to work with. And so like if I press down enough, I'll eventually find that age is right there with the double quotes around it. You'll also, if you're using SharePoint, you have spaces and stuff, you'll see some different, you know, weird characters in there. So it can be a little awkward at times. So that is literally all that is required. And if we do this, we now sort by age and we sort ascending. So ascending is the default. If you wanted to control that, you can go after age and you do a comma and then you can choose to do ascending or descending. So now we'll reverse sort them and I think Greg will be at the top. There you go. So now we're descending. So there's sort by columns at its most simple form. Now it works with all of your plain text columns pretty directly. So, you know, text, numbers, dates, um, even yes, no's or Boolean fields. If you get into complex columns, so like a SharePoint choice column or SharePoint look column, column or a Dataverse uh, option set column, right? If you get into any of those, those do not work with sort by columns um, directly. I'll show you a little trick towards the end. I think that's what the other demo is set up for, um, a, a way to like work around that. But uh, for the most part, you would just say they don't work. Uh, those complex columns aren't possible. Now we've sorted by age. What if we also wanted to sort first? So instead of age, let's sort by um, age, or no, let's, let's sort by department. And then let's sort by that. So we'll go back over here. I'll just go find department. It's a text column in this particular list. Sort by department. We want to sort that ascending. And then you can just bolt in here. I also want to sort by age. 
and we'll do it descending again. And so now we have two sorts. And if we change this section right here from showing there, and we'll just change this part right here to from title to departments, we'll see that those are the accounting people. So we have the two accounting people and then their ages were sorted in descending order. So you can stack these things up as much as you want. Remember, sort by columns, we just kind of write it in that syntax. Sort, we would actually have to write one sort and then new, new, um, loop in another sort. Also keep in mind as we're doing this, let's go back, let's just simplify this just to make our lives easier. So it, sort by columns requires a table. So it could be a SharePoint list or a Dataverse list, SQL, right? Any table data source. It can also be a collection, but it doesn't have to just be the whole data source. So what if I only wanted to see the youngs, right? I could say filter this data where employees last name equals young. And so that data source will get filtered. And then once it gets filtered, then they will be sorted. And now you see me, Nicola, and Chewy. So uh, that's one of those things. Power Apps just wants what Power Apps wants. Sort by columns wants a table. It doesn't care if it's a filtered table or not. It's just going to sort whatever table data you give it. Cool? All right. So a couple of little things. Let's go deeper now. So the one that I didn't know, let's go back to that one. So if we look at this, this is where we said sort by department and then uh, ascending and then age descending. Now, what if, you know, because right now, so if we switch this back to say department, oh, wait, department's on the top. No, it's not. There it is. All right, put department in here. So right now we're like, wait a minute, it's sourced by accounting and executive, right? So it's alphabetical order, which is probably what you wanted. But what if you didn't? What if you wanted to sort by your departments in a more specific order? So that is actually possible. This is a new thing that I learned. So you can pass right here a table of values. So in our case, we could say we want executives to be first, and then we want uh, accounting to be second. We want IT to be third. And I'd have to do all of them, but you kind of get the idea, right? So if I do those four departments, so now if we watch our sort order is actually going to be executive departments first, then accounting, then IT, then finance. And then because I didn't include janitorial or testing, the rest of the data, so any data that is not sorted by this uh, syntax will then just be in the order which it incurs in the list naturally. So you can see that these are out of sort. So it would probably make more sense for me just to go up here now and be like, oh, wait, I also have a janitorial and I have a testing call or team and I don't even know. I'll get marketing. I got too many people at this point, right? We're up to almost 20 employees. It's crazy. And so there you go. Now it's sorted out in the justice departments by itself down here. But so that was interesting to me. This was a this idea that we could sort by a given order. So you can do that. Now, what you can't do, though, is now if you use this syntax, you can't go, say, ascending or descending. Right? I can't just be like, oh, I want to do those ascending. Like it, It's broken. So if you use the table syntax, you cannot do additional columns. You cannot do ascending, descending. You just have to do this. But this is something sort by columns does that sort does not do. I thought that was kind of fun. All right. Um, I think over here, I just want to show you guys. So I did a the same type of example. Um, and so this was the same data set. I used this button to create a collection of fake data, right? Could hold fake data, who doesn't love that? Which is just favorite days and names of some people I like. And um, once I did that, what I wanted you to see was down here, if we go to the items property, I went ahead and so I was doing like sorting by their favorite day. And Monday, Wednesday, and Friday were the only days in my data set. Tuesdays, when I added Tuesday, it wasn't in the sort, so it just showed up at the bottom, right? So the same, same exact thing we just did on the other screen, but just showing you doing it with a collection and maybe a little more practical of an example where you might want to have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, ready for the bonus super nerd tip? You guys like super nerd tips. I know you do. So over here, if we, let's clean this back up. Back to employees first. So in the employees, I have um, their created date. So imagine this was, or no, you know what? We'll just do their hire date. There you go. So unique data. So I could sort by columns on hire date, right? So 
I think you know how that, oh, I'm doing that wrong. Sorry, 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 sorry. So we could just go back up here and sort on that one. It's a date, no big deal. Sort by columns, employees, and then I start to type in higher date. There it is. And this would sort everyone by their higher date, right? We learned that already. So that was interesting. But now as I started thinking that you guys might ask me is, hey, you just talked about days of the week over here. How do I like sort by days of the week that they were hired on? I wonder who was hired on Mondays versus Thursdays versus Saturdays. I was like, ah. Oh. So you can't sort, um, you know, there's no way to like get this, you know, I have this stored as a date, not as the day of the week. But we know there's a weekday function. So if we throw the weekday function on around these, we could preview what this kind of looks like. So this item, oh my goodness, power apps. It knows I'm doing a bonus tip, so it's gonna be a pain. And so the weekday, right, that is the number of days. So it starts Sunday is one, Monday is two, Thursday, right, Jennifer's on a Thursday, so that's four, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, or no, Thursday's, uh, whatever. Uh, Sunday is one, I had a hard time with this in class yesterday too. Monday is two, Wednesday is three, Thursday is four, Friday is five. No, I screwed that up again. Saturday is six, ah! Sunday is one, Monday is two, Tuesday, this is where I screwed up, Tuesday is three, Thursday is, no, Wednesday, Wednesday is four. Ugh, life is hard. Anyway, so what I started thinking is how could I make it so I could sort by that, the day of the week in my app. So this would not be delegable. If you don't know what delegation means, then go watch the delegation video. I'm assuming you do. So this would not be a delegable thing, but I wanted to do it nonetheless. So what I thought about, remember, sort by columns just wants a date, or sorry, just wants a table. So what if I did something like add columns to employees? Column name is day of week, right? Like this. And then I said, uh, add column day of week. I could use the function weekday and use that around higher dates. And so then this would make me a data set that now had day of the week. So now if we change this from this function, which gosh, that's hard to explain. We could change this to this item dot day of week. So we get the same number, right? It's doing what we want. I like that. So then now that's a column in our data set. So now I could say sort by columns and then day of week. So even remember, this is that oversimplification. Power Apps just wanted what it wanted. It wanted sort by columns was a table. Add by columns makes a table, just has an extra column bolted in. And so now all the people that were hired on Sundays are there. Nicole was on Monday. I'm gonna screw this up if I keep going, right? She was on Tuesday. Um, so there you go. Also as a bonus tip, if you get really confused that Sunday is the one, remember that if you go back up here with the weekday function, you can change this and you can say, I want the start of the week to be Monday. And now Monday is one, Sunday is seven way less confusing for this guy's brain. Okay, video got a little longer than I wanted. I apologize, but hopefully this helps, gives you some ideas about how to sort your data, what goes into all of it. Any questions, comments, leave them below. I will happily tackle those for you. Yeah, and I guess with that, I'm gonna say thanks and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to click on the subscribe button over here so that way you'll be notified when new videos come out. If you need any help or you want to work together, whether your problem is big or small, check us out at Power Apps 911. We do it all. I rhymed. Or if you're looking for more formal training offerings, we have those linked up here somewhere. So check them out. Thanks and have a great day.